Snowball. Snowball is a plug and play USB microphone that connects directly to the USB port on your laptop or desktop computer. And without having to download any other software, will work with your favorite recording program. Whether you're recording musical instrument or vocals, podcasts, dictation, or even Skype. Snowball features two condenser mic capsules inside. A condenser capsule delivers that rich, detailed audio you typically find in studio recordings. Snowball also offers two polar pattern options, or directions in which the mic picks up sound. Setting number one is cardioid, or directional to the front. Great for single source or single person recordings. Setting number two is cardioid with a 10 dB pad. This means it records directionally to the front, but reduces the mic sensitivity by 10 decibels. You can also think as if you put a pad over the microphone for recording extremely loud sound sources, like a screaming electric guitar amp, or maybe you're a podcaster that likes to shout. And setting number three is omnidirectional, or 360 degrees around the mic. This is great for band practice or chorus or a multi-person podcast or online conference call. Snowball comes with this adjustable desktop stand, but also has a standard thread on the bottom for connecting to a traditional mic stand or the Ringer, its custom designed shock mount. Hey, what's up guys? Luke here reviewing the Blue Yeti microphone. Now this is one of the most popular and versatile multi-pattern USB microphones on the market. So let's check it out. The Blue Yeti consists of two parts, the stand and the mic. The stand is a 7 inch tall piece of nearly solid steel weighted to keep the mic from tipping over. The stand has padding on the bottom so it doesn't scratch your desk as well as an adjustable axle that the mic rotates on. The microphone itself is about 7.5 inches in length and it has the same silver finish as the base. On the front of the mic there's a mute button which mutes the mic and a volume knob which controls the volume of the headphone output. On the bottom of the mic you'll find a mini USB port which connects it to your computer a headphone jack, and a screw mount for use when the mic is off the stand. Now if you want to take the mic off the stand, just unscrew it on the sides and your mic is free. On the back of the mic there are two knobs, one to control the gain and one to switch patterns. Overall, the build quality of this mic is incredibly sturdy and stylish. Perhaps the biggest appeal of this mic other than the price is what's on the inside. The mic features three premium condenser capsules that allows you to record using four different polar patterns. The patterns included in this mic are stereo, cardioid, omnidirectional, and bidirectional. These different patterns can make a huge difference in the quality of your recording, so let's take a look and see how they work. Alright, so I've got the mic hooked up here to my computer and I'm running the sound through Logic. And it works just how you want it to, it's plug and play, don't have to worry about anything. So let's check out some of the features here. The mute button works just how you'd want it to. And now there's sound. On the back, we can play with the gain, which is going to deal with the background noise. So we're going to turn it down and up, and you should be able to hear a difference, especially if you're wearing headphones. So the last thing we'll look at is the different patterns that this mic features. Right now, we're on cardioid mode, which means that the mic is only picking up sound at the front. So if I were to rotate this around, it's picking up less and less sound as I rotate it around. This pattern is really best for podcasting or videos like I'm doing right now where you want to pick up the voice but not any of the surrounding noise. If you're doing something like an interview, you're going to want to be able to pick up sound on the front and the back of the mic and that's where the bi-directional pattern comes in. I'm on the bi-directional pattern now which means that the sound is being picked up from the front and the back. So if I rotate, you'll notice the sound is full here, not much sound on the side, and full sound on the back. If you want to pick up sound on all sides of the mic, you can switch to the omnidirectional pattern. So I'm on the omnidirectional pattern now, and you can hear as I rotate the mic, the sound is being picked up evenly on all sides. This is really ideal if you're going to be recording instruments in an ensemble or something like that. The last mode is stereo mode, which is really cool because it actually pans the sound from left to right as you move around the mic. Let me show you. So I'm on the stereo pattern now, which means as I move around the mic, you'll be able to hear it move from speaker to speaker or from headphone to headphone. It's really cool that the Blue Yeti has all of these features and patterns so you can get the most out of your recording. Overall, I've been really pleased with the sound quality that I get out of this mic. I use it for all of my videos and the vocals sound great. And with all the optional settings, this is a great mic to record instruments with as well. 
Some of the biggest things I like about this mic is how well built it is, the headphone output jack, and the four pattern settings. These features give you a lot of power in such a small package. As far as improvements I'd like to see to this mic, there are a few things. First, it's very easy to take the mic off the stand, but it's not easy to put it back on. There's lots of little parts and pieces to line up, and you could end up scratching the finish on your mic like I did, trying to line it up correctly. Second, all the buttons don't seem to fit snugly. Now this is not a huge deal because they don't feel like they're going to break, but it's just something to note. Delivering exceptional sonic detail with low self noise, the AT2035 Side Address Cardioid Condenser Microphone is a proven performer designed for the critical home project studio, commercial studio, and live recording application. Built to Audio Technica's stringent quality standards, the AT2035 provides an exceptional level of consistency from model to model. This rugged condenser microphone features a large diaphragm for a smooth, natural sound, making it ideal for vocals and spoken word. Its cardioid polar pattern reduces pickup from the sides and rear, improving isolation of the desired sound source. Additionally, an 80 Hz high-pass filter is provided to decrease the capture of undesired low-frequency audio. Designed for a wide range of sound levels, the AT2035 includes a selectable 10 dB attenuation pad enabling it to handle extremely high SPL signals without overload, while its wide dynamic range provides unmatched versatility on instruments and other loud sounds. Operating on 11 to 52 volts DC phantom power, the AT2035 incorporates an integral gold-plated XLRM type connector. Every AT2035 includes a custom shock mount for improved mechanical isolation, along with a soft, protective pouch for storing the microphone when not in use. The AT2035 from Audio-Technica, clean, crisp, well-balanced sound at the studio or in the field. This is an award-winning microphone that features a 1-inch true condenser diaphragm and an internal pop filter. As a bonus, it also comes with an optional on-air indicator. Next is the Procaster. This is a premium dynamic microphone specifically tailored for voice applications and features a built-in windscreen system for plosive protection. Keep in mind, because it's dynamic, it does not require phantom power. Finally, there's the aptly named Podcaster. This is a USB version of the Procaster which gives podcasting professionals broadcast quality sound with a user-friendly interface. This interface includes an onboard ADD converter and a headphone jack that allows you to monitor directly from the mic. I've got here the Rode microphone, the Smart Lav Plus. Uh, I'm going to be testing this out on my uh, Pixel 2. So I'll be comparing the Pixel 2 microphone versus the Smart Lav Plus. So, so far I've liked it quite a bit. It does a good job canceling out ambient audio and just basically picking up only the audio of the person speaking. I'll be doing a test of me just talking, uh, comparing the two mics where I just talk, and then another test with uh, some background noise with a fan on and then some background music as well. I'll be using this connector for my Pixel 2 because it's USB-C to the uh, stereo plug here. One thing to note too is the Pixel 2 microphone is only on the front facing camera, it points towards me. So actually, if uh, I was talking right here on my hand towards the camera, it's not going to pick up very well on the Pixel 2. So for that reason, I'll be spinning the camera around a lot on the Pixel 2. Um, this is me talking on the Pixel 2, talking directly to the camera, and now I'm going to flip the camera around so it's facing me here. And you can tell it's probably a lot quieter when I talk like this. Now again, flipping it back this way so you can hear me talk. So now I have the Smart Lab Plus on my shirt, and so it doesn't really matter what direction the cell phone's facing, but uh, you can hear me talking here. I'm gonna shake my shirt a little bit and just walk around because I know that, that that's a concern for some people. Someone's walking and moving and talking. So um, as far as my experience, it barely makes, it barely makes any sound at all from, it barely picks up anything from me moving my shirt and, and jiggling things. All right, so now I've got a fan here. Um, uh, the, cam the microphone's facing away from the, from the fan, so it doesn't pick up too much of it. 
Now, let me turn it around. So now the microphone is really close to the fan. It's facing the fan. So again, turning it back around. So there's a lot of background noise here. So right now I'm wearing the Smart Lab Plus and I've got a fan here. So instead of ducking down, I'm just gonna pick it up and point it at my chest. So it's pointed at the microphone right now and um, it barely hears anything. Like it's got a little windscreen on the microphone. So I'll just shut up for a second so you can hear it. Overall, it's pretty good. I, it, it barely, I barely hear anything. Okay, um, we are not using Smart Lab Plus, it's disconnected. This is the Pixel 2 camera. We got some loud music over there. And um, let me turn the microphone so it's facing. So now the microphone is facing the, uh, the music, the speakers. I'm gonna turn it back around again. So again, that is the, uh, this is the Pixel 2 microphone. Okay, um, this is the, we're using the Smart Lab Plus right now. I have the, the cable plugged in, it's on my chest. We have music over there and uh, it's pretty loud. I forgot to mention that the distance is maybe like 10 feet or so. So um, I'll shut up for a second. Yeah, it, you, you don't really hear it very much. The Smart Lab just basically picks up what my voice is, uh, just, just whatever my voice is projecting. The VideoMic Pro Plus builds on the existing platform of the Rode VideoMic Pro, one of the most popular on-camera microphones in the world, but adds a whole bunch of handy features designed to allow the shooter to have the ultimate control over the audio right at the capture point. One of the most important things with any on-camera microphone is isolating the microphone capsule itself from the handling noise of using the camera and moving it around. To achieve that, we use one of the world's best microphone suspension systems, the Rycote Lyre system. It uses an advanced thermoplastic that will never sag, snap or break, meaning that you can confidently put the microphone in and out of your gear bag without ever having to adjust the shock mount. It's one of the best suspension systems in the world for actually reducing handling noise while you're operating the camera, making sure that your audio is always crisp and clear without having any low frequency rumble caused by the shooter themselves. Now the VMP Plus has a removable connection so that you can easily use the standard TRS connection designed specifically with DSLR or mirrorless style cameras in mind, or you can replace it with any of Rode's growing range of adapters such as the SC7 cable that's designed to allow you to plug the microphone directly into a smartphone or tablet device. Now on the back of the microphone you'll see the all new digital switching arrangement. The digital switching of the VideoMic Pro Plus has enabled us to add a whole bunch of additional features to the microphone, all within a very small space. First of all, we have a two-stage high-pass filter. Enables the operator to decide what kind of level of attenuation they want to apply to the audio signal coming in. A couple of good examples would be setting a 75Hz high-pass filter to cut out traffic noise that's getting into the shooting space when you're shooting indoors. Or if you're at a trade show, for instance, and you're shooting spoken word with somebody presenting to camera, you might engage the 150 hertz high pass filter, helping you to cut out any of that unwanted sound outside of the human frequency range and enabling you to capture a much cleaner audio track. Of course, you can also switch the high pass filter off so that you have a flat frequency response without any attenuation in the low end frequencies. Now on the right hand side of the microphone, we have a switchable three stage gain control from plus 20 dB, to minus 10 dB or even zero dB. The minus 10 dB pad enables you to record very loud sounds without overloading the input of your camera. And the plus 20 decibel feature enables you to turn down the noisy preamp on most DSLR and mirrorless style cameras and run the microphone nice and high so that you get crisp, clear audio on even cameras that don't have the nicest audio circuit. The digital switching arrangement on the back of the microphone has also enabled us to add a couple of cool features that are switchable by pressing multiple buttons at the same time. The first of those is a high frequency boost designed to enable you to change the sound characteristic of the microphone to add a little bit of brightness in the top end. It can be very handy, for instance, in an environment where you've got a lot of background noise and you're trying to pick out a voice directly in front of the camera and add a little bit of presence to that sound. To engage the high frequency boost, you simply press the two bottom buttons at the same time and you can see there that the LED is changing to let you know when the feature is either on or off. Now another very handy feature for the busy run and gun filmmaker is the safety track feature. 
If you press the power and level buttons at the same time, you can see here you can engage or disengage the safety channel on the VideoMic Pro Plus. The safety channel makes use of both the left and right channels that are available on almost all cameras by attenuating the right hand channel by 10 decibels so that your audio is never overloaded. Now the VideoMic Pro Plus has three separate powering options to make sure that you're never on set without power for your microphone. First of all, if you open the captive battery door on the front of the microphone, you can see that the VideoMic Pro Plus ships with the all new Rode LB1 lithium ion rechargeable battery. The lithium rechargeable battery ships with the VideoMic Pro Plus and will power the microphone for over 100 hours. Now charging of the LB1 battery can be achieved by simply leaving the battery in the microphone and plugging it in via micro USB. The micro USB port can also be used to power the microphone in standalone mode. So if you've got a separate power bank on your rig, you can simply plug the microphone in and power it for long periods of time. And in the rare event that you've forgotten to charge your LB1 battery and it's actually run out of power, you can remove the LB1 and power the VideoMic Pro Plus with two standard AA batteries, the most commonly available battery in the entire world. Now there's nothing worse when you're shooting than forgetting to turn your microphone on at the start of a critical take, or even forgetting to turn the microphone off at the end of a shoot and running your batteries out while the microphone is sitting in your camera bag. To combat that, we've got the automatic powering function where the microphone will automatically switch on when you turn your camera on. It achieves this by detecting plug-in power from the audio input on your camera and telling the microphone to switch on. When you turn the camera off or unplug the microphone, that plug-in power is no longer detected and the microphone will automatically switch off after just a couple of seconds. The new VideoMic Pro Plus also features a new sealed windshield design to make sure that you always have the best protection for your microphone in light wind environments directly out of the box. There is also a synthetic fur windshield available as a separate accessory for any high wind outdoor environment. The VP83F lens hopper camera mount condenser microphone with integrated flash recording and playback capabilities is the all-in-one solution to get high definition audio for your video production. The onboard digital flash recorder enables wave file capture at 24-bit 48 kilohertz resolution. With an 8 gigabyte card, you can record up to 15 hours of audio. The micro SD slot is easily accessible and allows quick card access. Easy to use in any environment, this compact condenser shotgun microphone features an intuitive menu and simple one button recording. Developed with a highly directional supercardioid low bar polar pattern, the VP83F rejects unwanted off access audio while clearly capturing the intended sound source. A dedicated headphone audio output allows for real-time monitoring. A detachable 3.5 mm gold-plated coiled audio cable allows you to simultaneously record audio to your camera. The standard size shoe mount with a quarter inch threaded base works for camera use or easy mounting on a stand or boom pole. The easy-to-read, backlit LCD screen features complete activity monitoring from the home screen, including audio and battery metering, track information, headphone volume, mic gain, low-cut filter, and remaining recording time. An integrated, custom-designed Rykote Lyre shock mount ensures superior isolation from vibration and mechanical noise. A Rycote foam windscreen is included to reduce unwanted noise from wind without affecting sound quality. An optional Rycote wind jammer minimizes wind noise in extreme environments. Two AA alkaline batteries provide up to 10 hours of use in record mode. With its ultra-lightweight, durable all-metal construction, the VP83F lens hopper with integrated flash recording makes it easy to capture detailed, high-definition audio anywhere on camera or off. Rode VideoMic Pro has been the world's leading microphone choice for professional on-camera audio over the past five years. 
It's lightweight and small form factor that makes it convenient to mount atop your camera, while its high quality microphone capsule paired with extremely low noise electronics has helped countless camera operators capture professional quality audio. For DSLR and mirrorless camera operators, the innovative plus 20 dB level boost has allowed them to capture audio without the camera's internal noise floor interfering. The VideoMic Pro is an incredible microphone and today I'm happy to tell you that it just got even better. Introducing the new Rode VideoMic Pro. The new Rode VideoMic Pro features Rycote's famous Lyre suspension system made from an advanced thermoplastic that exhibits exceptional suspension properties, isolating your microphone from handling noise. The Lyre suspension will never snap, bend or break, ensuring that your suspension system never needs replacement. A completely new capsule provides even lower self noise and higher sensitivity than the original model, ensuring that you capture crystal clear audio every time. The new design retains the audio controls of the original model with a high pass filter set at 80 Hz to enable you to cut out low frequency noise such as traffic noise or the low rumble of an air conditioning unit without affecting the pickup of the essential human voice frequencies. A minus 10 dB pad enables recording in extremely loud environments while the famous plus 20 dB boost enables you to reduce the preamp volume of your DSLR or mirrorless camera simultaneously reducing the camera's self noise level and enabling you to capture crystal clear audio every time. The VP83 lens hopper camera mount condenser microphone captures detailed high definition audio. The ultra compact condenser shotgun microphone easily mounts onto camcorders and DSLR cameras and provides exceptional audio performance with easy to use controls. The highly directional supercardioid low bar polar pattern clearly captures the intended sound source while rejecting unwanted background noise. Its superior RF immunity minimizes unwanted audio artifacts from cellular and RF devices. A three position gain switch and low cut filter switch are easily accessible on the back of the microphone and enable quick adjustments for different recording environments. Just one AA alkaline battery will give you up to 130 hours of battery life. An integrated 3.5 mm coiled audio cable allows for quick connection to any camera or recording device. And the standard size shoe mount with a quarter inch threaded base works for camera use or easy mounting on a standard camera tripod. An integrated, custom-designed Rycoat wire shock mount ensures superior isolation from vibration and mechanical noise. A Rycoat foam windscreen is included to reduce unwanted noise from wind without affecting sound quality. An optional Rycoat wind jammer minimizes wind noise in extreme environments. With its ultra-lightweight yet durable all-metal construction, the VP83 lens hopper is the reliable solution for digital filmmakers who require exceptional audio quality.